42 million children have been screened through that program. We're celebrating a 20 year uh, anniversary with Johnson & Johnson Vision, which will continue hopefully for the next 20 years and another 42 or maybe 50 million children will be screened. We find that you know a lot of children in school are not up to par, so to speak, with their education. And a lot of times we find out that it's because they can't see properly. And once that is addressed, you see a, a, an improvement in their grades in school, which is so important that we catch it early. And through the screening program that we have, usually to kids six months to six years, if there's issues with their eyes, that's the best time to correct it. And through the screening program, over 600,000 children recently have been referred for eye care to, to their doctors. We had a campaign called Campaign 100 with a goal to raise $300 million. It ended at our international convention back in June in Montreal, and the final tally was $325 million, which were raised from lines all around the world. What that does, that enables our foundation to continue to be there when a disaster strikes. That $325 million will enable us to continue to be there. And we have a saying out there where there's a need, there is a lion. And the lions and the residents of Kenya have benefited from part of those funds through the grants that they've received over the years. Have so far served three million people in this country for the eye ailments. And this journey continues for years to come. Every day our outreach program is out twice a week and looking at 1,000 people at every camp and bringing those patients to Nairobi and actually doing the surgeries on them. And the patient pays nothing because they just can't afford it. Mm -hmm. And otherwise they will go blind. And that is why this hospital was established. And I would like to express my grateful thanks to our LCF chairman and to the foundation for having supported us, and they do continue to support us in many activities. We've introduced what you call the Site for Kids program for the last 10 years, and we go and visit schools every week, twice, and see those schools' students are being taken care of, they're given free spectacles, they're given free medication for their eyes, as well as any surgeries to be done for those students who are poor is done free of cost. 